Welcome back. We're back with John McClatchy, our science guy, go to science. And he's, not only because he is from a scientific background, looking at these proofs or supposed proofs of science in the Quran, we want to look at now Surah 31, Ayah 10, about mountains placed as tent pegs to keep the earth from shaking. Go ahead, John, and read that verse for us. Surah 31, in Surah 31, 10, we read, He has created the heavens without any pillars that you see, and has set on the earth firm mountains, lest it should shake with you. And he has scattered therein moving living creatures of all kinds. And we send down water from the sky, and we cause plants of every good kind to grow therein. Okay, the first part of that verse is what we're going to look yeah. at today. He sets mountains as tent pegs. That means going into the earth to keep the earth from shaking. Help us here. That, I mean, I, here's mountains right behind this. They're pretty big. I imagine there are roots that go way deep in the earth. That would make sense as someone who's not a scientific person. I believe that. Help me here. Isn't that true? Yeah, Muslims make this argument, but I think it's better. I think uh, the, these mountains are um, better understood as being placed on the earth according to what the Quran is saying as, as paperweights to keep, to keep the earth in place. I mean, mountains are actually um, um, produced at points of instability, <laughs> you know? So it's, it's, so it's, it's just the opposite. Yeah, it's just the opposite of, of what Muslims want to contend. Uh, now, listen, I grew up in a mountain called the Himalayas, uh -huh. the world's largest mountains, and they're still growing. The tectonic plate of India is bashing up against the Tibetan tectonic mm -hmm. plate. And as they collide, they cause a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. And as the wrinkle forms, the mountains get higher and yeah. higher and higher. The two collisions, we living there, we would go out into the mountains and we would see parts of the, the sea floor. We would see crustaceans from the sea right there at 10,000 feet up, proving mm -hmm. that it used to be the sea floor that's been pushed up. Which mm -hmm. means, it looks like it's just the opposite. Yeah, just the opposite. Help me here. <laughs> the Quran says they're placed from on top, bang, into it to keep the earth from shaking. Right, and yet we know that they're produced through plate tectonics and it's produced um, at points of instability. And so it's just the opposite of what the Quran is claiming. So the Quran is simply wrong at this point. In fact, we've just heard a few weeks ago of huge earthquakes mm. happening in Nepal. Mm. Those earthquakes came about by the mountains still big growing. Right. Did you know the Himalayan mountains are still growing? Yeah. You know how fast they grow? How fast? The length of a fingernail every year. <laughs> wow. That's it. So you know, it's <laughs> not really that easily observable, but it seems to suggest that it's just the opposite from what the Quran's saying. Right. In fact, I would suggest this is an error, isn't it? Yeah. And we know that mountains are not placed upon the earth, but they're actually <laughs> produced from within the earth. And there so, yes, yeah, so it's just a scientific blunder rather than a scientific miracle. What about tent pegs? Because tent pegs suggest that it's going deep, deep, deep down into the earth. Well, it still suggests that it's, they're placed onto the earth. So, it, it, I mean, the mountains are not stamped into the earth like a tent peg would be stamped into the earth, but they're actually produced uh, through plate tectonics and, and mechanisms that we're familiar with. In fact, there's no plate pegs at all, is it? Right. If they're coming up. Yeah, exactly. It's magma underneath. Yeah. yeah. Magma is liquid. Uh -huh. Nothing like a peg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just the opposite. And every once in a while, that magma does come to the surface and we get a volcano. Yeah. So. It's very, most mountains are very instable or unstable. Maybe that's the better word to use. Thank you. This is helpful. We're not only finding that they've got the wrong material, looking at the wrong thing. I would suggest that this is what pre-scientific or unscientific people observing, like I just did, something big and large, that's how they would conclude. We now know through tectonic, scientific, forensic testing that it's just the opposite. The Quran actually is an error here. Not a scientific proof, is it? No, okay, not at all. Thank you, John. That's great. We'll be right back.